Okay, I'm going to go over problem 8-8, -8, where we have uh, several different betas for several different stocks and amounts of vested, and we want to calculate what the expected return on this portfolio of these three stocks are. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And basically, this beta is based, those of you who don't know, this is based off the CAPM model, and we'll get into that in a second. Okay, so we're given... Uh, amount invested, uh, $350,000, $250,000, and $400,000. Okay, and those are all dollars, so I'll go here and click dollars. And we have betas. And I guess if we want to, we could, we could put in a symbol here. I'm going to go insert symbol. And we look under Creek. It's right here, the alpha beta. Okay, so our beta are 1.2 and 2.5. Okay. And put borders around it. Okay, so that's what we're given. We're also given uh, the risk free rate. The risk free rate of return is 3%. So I'm going to go R sub F is 3%. And the uh, expected return on the market is R. And I'm going to put a hat on there. So I'm going to go. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go insert symbol and I, we're going to go to the drop down. This can go to combining diacritical marks. <coughs> and I'm going to look for the little hat, which is uh, um, I guess I'll pick. Yeah, I'll pick this one. Insert. Okay. And close that, and that's on the market. So sometimes it puts that big M. So I'm going to go out and go back in. And this market, we're going to subscript. So I'm going to, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to go Control Shift F, Alternate B, and then Enter. And let's return on the market. There's free rate. Control Shift F, Alternate B. Anyway, and so the expected return on the market says nine percent. Okay, so that's what we're given, and we want to find we want to find the expected return on our portfolio. So I'm just going to copy this down here. Remember the little hat in our book that stands for expected return. I'm going to call that on the portfolio. We want to find that. Okay, so so for a solution, let me go ahead and copy this down. Oop. Copy it, right click, copy, right click, paste. So for a solution, so this is what we're given. So I'm going to highlight this, hold on, control, highlight this and this. And I'm going to make it bold and underline six digit selection. Okay, so for a solution, we want to calculate this, the expected return in our portfolio. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because we already have that copied in. And in order to find the expected return of the portfolio, we're going to need these two formulas. Okay. Um, the first one we're going to need to do is we're going to have to calculate using beta. We're going to have, we're going to have to calculate the expected um, return on each individual stock. Okay. So I'm going to say um, the what we could do. Let me move this over. Okay. And I'll call this I. And I'll make it italicized. And center it. So I. Oh, format painter this. Format painter this. So here I is one, two, and three, and we'll make these numbers. 
Okay, so this is the first, the second, and the third. And we want to count, and this is actually we call the beta sub i. So I can go control shift L. So that's my beta sub i. And we want to know the expected return. So I'm going to copy this. So we want to know the expected return for each stock sub i. Okay. And so that's going to use this formula here, the return on the market minus the risk-free rate times the beta. And then you have to add in the risk-free rate again. So there's another formula I need. But the whole form, let me type in the whole formula here. Uh, the whole formula is uh, equal to equals. Okay, so I don't want that to be the equal sign. Of that. So it's equal to r hat sub i, or r sub r sub f. So I'm going to go r sub f plus parentheses r hat sub m minus the risk free rate times your beta sub i. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert symbol since I use it, it's down here. Okay, sub i. Okay, now I can make this look nice. So let's make this subscript. Make this subscript. And really what we could do, I could take this and I can copy and paste it in here. Okay, and this is subscript, and this is subscript. Okay, so this is really what we're going to calculate. So our expected return. So we want to expect we want to calculate our individual returns, and we're going to take this part of the formula, which is a risk premium, and add it on to the risk free rate. Okay, so this is called the cap m, by the way. This is the cap m. Okay, so let's do the formula. So it's equal to the individual return. Okay. Or equal to the risk free rate. So the risk free rate is here. So I'm going to copy this formula down. So I'm going to hit F4. And then plus the expected return on the market. Again, I'm going to copy that formula down. So I'm going to hit F4 minus the risk free rate. F4. times the beta. Okay, so I'm going to have all these. So I'm doing the risk free rate plus the return on the market, expected return on the market minus the risk free rate. Those are all F4 because I want those to stay as I copy the formula off. Times this beta, which I want to move, so I'm not going to have four. And then I copy that down and I get my returns. So now I can calculate so now I have that calculated. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the portfolio return. And in order to do that, I have to find the individual weights, these W's. I'll call this W sub I. Okay. And in order to calculate the weights, I have to figure out what the total is. So I'm going to sum this, and then the weights are just the portions of the total. So it's going to be equal to this divided by this, and then have for it. And I copy that down. Those are my individual weights. 
Okay. And now I can calculate, since I have this percent and I have this, those are the two things right here, and this is simply the sum product. So in order to calculate this, I'll copy this down. This is a, basically equal to the sum product of this array here, comma, and this array here. And then, of course, we could make this percent. Take it out a couple places. And that's your answer. Okay. So, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, so, this is basically to find the risk premium. And the risk premium, you have to add the risk free rate to that. And that's what the cap BAM is. Okay. And then we do this formula to find the portfolio. So you simply can't take the average of these. You have to take the weighted average. So for the portfolio retainer, you have to take, these are the returns I expect. This is a portion of the portfolio that's, you know, by these amounts, you can find the portion, the percent. And of course, this is going to add up to one. If you did it right, right? The sum should be one. So uh, you could actually call these percents if you wanted to, right? 35%, 25%, and 40% of your money is invested in, in the total amount of your money is invested in your portfolio, and that gives you weights. And then you just do the sum product, and that's your answer. Hopefully that helps. Thank you.